is Mike Stroh of Arizona Great Adventure Fishing, live from Lake Pleasant with uh, Lake Pleasant update. Water temperature on the surface out here is varying from the high 70s to the low 80s. Uh, the fall patterns are starting to take place here on the lake. We're seeing the fish move from the main lake points uh, into their fall pattern feeding, uh, which includes uh, chasing the shad up into balls and then driving them up into the shallows. Uh, in preparation for feeding for the winter. Lake Pleasant has largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, white bass, stripers, uh, bluegill, crappie, and a couple of kinds of catfish. So it offers the fishermen a wide variety of choices of fishing opportunities this time of the year. Okay, we're using a drop shot rig here and got a fish on. He's on a ledge down here. Ooh, pretty good. He's pulling drag here. Don't want to horse him up. Don't want to kill him. Here he comes. Come on to pop. Cool. Here we go. Drop shot back at Lake at <laughs> drop shot pass at Lake Pleasant out of about 25 foot off a ledge. So folks, Lake Pleasant is alive and well when people tell you there aren't any fish out here and the fish aren't biting. Surprise, surprise, they're wrong. This is living proof. So come join us at Arizona Great Adventure Fishing and catch your share as soon as possible. Signing off for now. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Billy Bass. I'm the guy that makes life look good out here on the lake. I just come around and bite anything he throws. Oh, aren't I doing a good job, Mike? Oh, yes, and your mouth doesn't even move when you have a talking fish. Oh, my goodness. Say goodbye, fish. Goodbye! Billy Bass, over and out. Ready? Ooh. For drop shotting on Lake Pleasant, especially with striper, is I like to use a 7-foot medium-heavy pole with an 8 or 10-pound braid. And I run floral carbon leader down with a red, uh, a red uh, octopus hook or circle hook. And I kind of rig the bait a little uniquely. I take the head off. I like to use bigger baits because I like to catch bigger fish. Uh, some of the people that fish out here just use little pieces. I toss the head away and I leave a little bit of the gut hanging out here. And what I do is I, I hook this in a way that's unique for me anyway to other people. So I run it down through the spine and then I'll roll tape the hook and I'll bring it back through the spine this way with a little bit of the hook just penetrating out the back. Now when I drop this because I'm using such light line I get a really good flutter weight or rate going down. Uh, the, the bait has a tendency to tumble and, and twirl a little bit. It looks like a wounded fish. I use a really light bait at one eighth or less even if I'm fishing in 40, 50, 60 feet of water for striper because that flutter rate is, seems to be what attracts them. The big thing you have to be careful with when you're using light line like this is that you have to be sure your drag set and that you have a, a, a really good uh, spinning reel with probably about a 6 to 1 ratio or better because when these fish run uh, to keep from tangling line on this reel you don't want to be trying to retrieve the fish while they're on a run uh, to slow down a run, all I do is take and put my finger on a spool rather than use the, uh, the reel to slow it down. Gives them a little more resistance and then when that fish uh, stops his run, then I can regain uh, ground with him by winding it in. If you have a tendency to want to go ahead and wind that fish in while he's on the run and the spinning reel, a lot of times uh, if you're in a hurry, you're really trying to get that fish in, uh, a lot of times you're going to get coils in your line and it causes problems with your reel and your line spool. I also, on this particular rig, put a little swivel up there. When I'm fishing in deeper water, like 40, 50, 60 feet, it cuts down the line twist uh, on the braid as well, and just allows that expensive line to last you a little bit longer. But this is one of my favorite rigs out here at Pleasant. Uh, this summer we've caught as many as 40, 50, uh, you know, in, in an hour, hour and a half using this rig. And this same rig will work again in the fall when the fish are schooled up and suspended. Uh, yeah, it works on largemouth, it works on uh, stripers as well. So we've had pretty good success with both. Every once in a while we'll catch a big catfish on it. So you're just not quite sure what you're going to get, but you, whatever it is, going to be fun. But really great rig for stripers. And rig it this way, and uh, you'll be in the bigger fish. And uh, we wish you the best of the luck out here. This is a jigging spoon. 
and I just love using these in the fall when the fish are schooled up feeding on shad. Uh, you can vertical jig this little spoon. It comes in three colors. It's made by War Eagle. This one happens to be their silver. They make a gold and white and sometimes I'll switch these hooks out and put red hooks on them. Sometimes it just uh, seems to do a, a little bit better out here. But this is one of my favorite uh, uh, baits to use when the fish are in schools and they're suspended and the fish are feeding on them. You can also toss this, it's versatile enough, you can also toss it out in the broils uh, when the fish are up on the surface. Just make it look like a wounded fish with an erratic uh, a retrieve and they just seem to hammer it. So this, again, this is a war eagle. This is one of the three favorite spoons that I have that I use when I vertical jig fish out here in Pleasant. Produces a lot of fish for me. Large mouth stripers, white bass, etc. Great bait. We have another Lake Pleasant bass. Nice fish, probably a pound and a half. Got a little bit of red on his tail. Looks like he's been chasing shad this morning up here in the shallows. Again, we caught him on a war eagle. Just following that school through the lake as they transverse their way around from the shallows to the drop offs. Just chasing those schooling shad up. Boy, these hooks on these war eagles are good. Well, let's go back and see Mama. Say goodbye. Mm -hmm. ah. Oh, he tastes horrible. <laughs> he forgot the brushes. These are a couple of the fish we caught this morning on the War Eagle Spoon. Uh, fall pattern was in place. The bass were chasing the shad up into the shallows and along the edges of the points uh, feeding this morning. Uh, we had six fish on this morning, uh, just tossing that little war eagle out there and jigging it back. Uh, these are two of the bigger bad boys that we caught this morning out of those six. So, guys, the fall bite is on. Get up here and get your share. <laughs>